so um for those that know me and for those that do not know me i'm just gonna introduce and reintroduce myself my name is felix asuka i am from cross river state in nigeria and um, i currently live in the united states i am an investigator i'm a sheriff officer with the ss county sheriff's office and closely i have been following up everything that has been going on in nigeria lately uh, beginning from when this whole protest started i'm gonna keep it short sweet and simple i must say that um basically I'm, i just want to address ayade my message here is for governor yade and uh his cohorts what has happened in Cross River State has happened. And I have seen a few videos going around. Yesterday I saw something from Senator Itagiwa coming down to Neil and crash. She should be shipped. She, she really should be ashamed of herself for even deciding to do that. I don't know who advised her to do that. But Itagiwa, you need to get up the floor, go to your room because it's coming. It hasn't ended. This is the beginning of the fight. So you get ready. Because this rain is going to touch everybody's roof. You get ready. For uh, Governor Yade, you have, um, from you becoming a governor of Cross River State, from the inception of you becoming a governor of Cross River State, the only one thing that I know you have done is lie, 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 and lie again. You have signed the most MOUs ever. I ever knew anybody in leadership know around the world. You have been the only person that has done all the most book uh, not even done that has proposed bogus projects none has been accomplished employed thousands of people all audio none was accomplished nothing is existing you came you stole from the people of cross river state you decided to appoint puppets you decided to appoint puppets into the local go into managing the local government at first, five years after you became a governor. And then you have the God given mind through your advisor, something ita on publicity to uh, uh, come up with some, I don't know what's that, but I read something from your uh, media uh, advisor, Mr. Ita, saying that you have spoken to all the security uh, uh, personnel in Cross River State to start searching people's houses. Are you out of your mind? I think you are. My reason for saying that is that if we need to start calling people thieves, we got to start from you. You, after all the lies, you decided to hold back the palliative that, were, that was meant for hungry Cross Riverians. You have used the power of media to deceive Cross Riverians, to deceive Nigeria as a whole, that how good you are coming out on media to cry of how you care about Cross River State. And this is where you have reduced us to. You have reduced the state to, uh, to the lowest point ever. You have used the youth. You came in, oh, I want to be the governor that is going to employ youth. You came in, employ youth, but you use the youth against us ourselves. You use the youth against themselves because of your own selfish interests. You have manipulated these people's minds. They cannot know, none of these people you, have employed or appointed into office can use their ministry to effect any change because you're not a governor you're a dictator so i am telling you right now this message is sent directly to you and to your security operatives you guys need to halt that decision right now because i'm telling you ayade do not set yourself up for failure because if you do that you would be the first person that will have to stand before the judge and start answering these questions we know the Nigerian's constitution, we're going to study it the more, and we are coming for you. So you better call your security operatives, cut it out. Do not search people's houses, halt every plan to arrest anybody, let the sleeping dog lie, and go back to your drawing board, because Cross River State needs work, there's work to be done. Go back to your drawing board, let's figure out, you figure out what you need to do in Cross River State to put it on the path of growth, on the path of rebuilding. We are coming for you. So you just really, literally, you need to cut it out and do what you need to do. Do not search anybody's houses because when we want to start calling thieves, we're going to start from you, from Senator Itagiwa, from Geshe Basi, from all these other elected officials that have stolen 
the constituency's money that have stolen it and use it for their own private interest. I'm not going to make this video long and boring, but this message is for you to cut the BS now.